Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm about to jerk off. I just <laughs> decided to go live with you guys. Why not? I mean, you know, just you, me, some pillows, some guys in the room. <laughs> Why the fuck not? You know, sometimes you just got to lie in bed and take care of business with two men in the room. There's nothing wrong with it. We, uh, we went to the after party. We had some cheeseburgers. And, uh... My ninja. Mexican. Are you really back, dude? What's up, Michael? Mexican, are you really back? Is this, are you back from the dead? It's good to have you back. Um, I was just talking about Mexican. Mexican D-side. I was like, wow, man. Him and Jesus. They were like two OGs from the very beginning, so. Good shit. So basically why I'm going live right now, besides the fact I'm going to jerk off. 3-3, uh, three, three, what's up? Um, is because I want to talk about, uh, yeah, everyone relax. It's late. It's late right now. <laughs> Relax, guys. <laughs> I'm here. Relax, guys. <laughs> I think you're going to relax us. Ronnie Deal, what's up, man? What the fuck is up? All right, so we did that event, Premier FC 24. I was in the cage shoving microphones. There was a little bit of drama. There's a little bit of everything in that fight. A lot of stuff. When the footage gets released, I'm going to share it out to everybody. We have a lot of footage of me in there. And um, we got the boys over here hanging with the boys. I was at UFC, Ronnie Deal. Okay, that's another reason why I wanted to go live. I did not see the fights, Poirier versus Pettis. I'm going to watch them tomorrow, but usually I don't like spoilers. Tonight, spoil the shit out of it. I want to know what was the fight of the night. I want to know how did that main, main event go down. I mean, that had to be fireworks. Did you have a great time, kid? I did, Michael. Thank you. Poirier won. Fuck, I nailed it. I fucking nailed it. Hey, I'm fucking back in the win column. All right, good. I needed that. I needed Poirier to fuck it. How did Poirier win, guys? Help me out. I'm so happy you won. I like Dustin. Uh, let's see. It was a great fight, too. I might have to watch it after this. This is Mi Mr. Dinglepuss. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fucking Mr. Dinglepuss is here. That elbow by Brown fucked up my TV. Tell me Brown won so I catch another W. Tell me Brown. Did Brown win and did Brown retire? Let me know in the chat. Because if you're jumping in right now, I didn't see it. I had bad news. I'm not gay. Oh, Tiger Leg. Don't worry. It's fine. We're just going old jerk off here to be fine. Brown one, two for two. Hi, Chris. What's up, Mike H? What's going on? It was a bloodbath, all right? Pettis uh, was bloody as fuck. He tapped. He hurt his ribs. <clears throat> Yo, Pettis is done. Fuck that guy. I'm done with Pettis. Poor he's the shit. Oh, I'm back in the win column. It figures. I don't do a fight, buddies, and I get him right. He knocked Diego the fuck out. That's a shocker. So Matt Brown with the win. Did Brown retire? MMA Barber. This is the MMA Barber right now. That's right. I, I'm in white face. I miss it, uh, I was watching boxing, Jacob's one. Okay, so Drew was watching a little boxing. I took a shit in a bucket, looked down at it, and realized I was staring at PFC 24. <laughs> <laughs> this is Mexican. Welcome back, you fuck. You cunt. I tell you what, Premier FC 24 was lit. The only thing I want you guys to watch, I mean, there was some good fights on there, but we had Pat Casey and Miguel, not Pat, uh, Pat Casey and Jesse Kosakowski. Guys... That shit is fire. Both guys are the real deal. They're really good. It was a war, and there was a finish. The shit was sick, and I got bad reception. So you can lick my balls. Uh, Mexican left my fucking ass off. Uh, internet showtime. <laughs> internet showtime. I'm a cunt pettis. I agree with the A-side. He is a cunt. I'm back, ninjas. All right, Mexican. Welcome. So, Mexican, can you explain to us where the fuck did you go? Did you get deported? Where the fuck did you go? I'm lying with you guys. Are you guys, who's turned on? Hit me with the ones if you fucking so turned on right now. <laughs> uh, Tommy Pickles fighting Albini. This is Stefan Killen. We, wetback. This is Anthony O'Hara. Good. I'm glad there's Wetback in here. I'm uh, an upcoming golfer. Tiger Leg, what's up, man? Look, Tiger Leg's having a great time. Ninjas. Uh, business. All right, so business. Mexican. All right, be honest with me. There was rumors that you got deported. And I, I was against those rumors. I actually said, no, I don't think he was deported. I thought, you know, shit happened. Did you get deported? Be honest with me. And if, who gives a fuck if you're back? Did you see Albini wearing a diaper? No, what is what happened with this Albini wearing a diaper? I have to Google this. You have your phone? I get it. I'm in bed with a man, if it makes you feel any better. <laughs> I'm coming out of the closet tonight on the MMA Hills. Who's the deep voice next to you, Chris? That's my, that's my, that's my wife. It's like, hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, get over here. No, I have two cousins in the room. Karen Boris, uh, she got us a room, CEO, and now it's like a man party. First diaper made it uh, by Reebok Good Ship. 
Wait, where the fuck is that the first diaper made by Reebok? Chris, are you watching the uh, creature from the Black Lagoon? <laughs> yes. Uh, Chris, you look very tired. I'm fucking exhausted. I am so tired. My voice. I am so damn black. We got old school in this bitch. It was funnier than shit. Wait, what is the diaper? Talk, talk to me about this diaper in the UFC. I'm still fighting my case with Homeland Security, man. Are you fucking... Are you for real, Mexican? <laughs> Giants fan in bed with other men. Homos go Eagles. All right, fuck you, uh, dude. What do you think about uh, Louis C.K. <laughs> One out in front. All right, so I'm gonna talk about. All right, Mr. Dinglepuss. Great question, Louis C.K. I think he did nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I was told. I was told the story. I didn't read it. I didn't hear about it. But I, I think Louis C.K. I don't think he's wrong. I mean, it's a little weird what he did. But what the fuck's the big deal? He jerked off in front of a couple of people. I mean, I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe, I mean, Kevin Spacey, that's fucking, that's some serious shit to poor old Mexicans. This is Bosco. That dude uh, fighting Arlovsky. Tell me, oh wait, so the guy fighting Arlovsky was wearing a diaper. Please tell me Arlovsky lost. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I gotta, we're going to pull it up. We got the, we got the image on MMAJunkie.com. Junior Albini's <laughs> diaper looking Reebok shorts. Oh, I should fucking do a stream just on this. So there it is. I can see it. <laughs> oh my god it's literally called the diaper shorts fucking diaper john was he's so proud of him look at this guy's shorts that's fucking awesome that's why i keep a man in the bed just in case you need to show this look at that kids like that doesn't get your louis ck going did he shit himself too like what happened here all right i gotta look at this we do a live reaction to these diaper shorts if you jump it in i, I was hosting not hosting i was doing the uh, questions in a cage for premier fc 24 and I missed the UFC event. I will be watching him tomorrow. Mike, we'll watch him tomorrow, right? Yeah. We'll, we'll hold hands. But this guy does look like he's wearing a diaper. Did the diaper beat Arlovsky? Let me know. Uh, a little Mexico. I wanted to box now. Real shit. So wait, you're looking to box now. Okay. Fucking depends. This is my gauge. All right. Fab is Tiger Leg. The real is an agent for MMA Barber. <laughs> you know how his uh, uh, black sis, how those blacks get stick together. All right. There you go. The guy brought us pillows, and I gave him a wristband. So if you are watching, if the man who gave us pillows, these all these pillows over here, if the man who gave us pillows is subscribed right now, you should reveal yourself in this chat, because the man, <laughs> nice gentleman, gave him a dollar in wristbands. It's like about 40 bucks if you do that. Uh, Clay Guida, kill Joe Lozon. Okay, no. here we go. That's a good one. Tell me about this fight, guys. I'm going to have you guys tell me about the fights, and I'm going to watch them tomorrow. I want them all spoiled. Diaper Boy was trying to win via eye poke. Fap, fap, fap. This Orlovsky did win? Dude, the guy grabbed the mic. Oh, so Michael lands alone. The joke that we were making about Pat Casey grabbing the mic. And I made, I made the joke uh, again today with him. Um, you need to watch. He TKO'd Lausanne. Wow. How about Clay Guido with two in a row? He runs over. I got to see that fight. What rounds was the Guido fight? What round was that? The guy probably went home and killed himself, <laughs> says Pro Tool. Uh, Daryl literally box you with, uh, what? With a sock and sock puppet? <laughs> what? Wait, hold on. Box you with a uh, sock and boppers, pussy. That's <laughs> Darth Bane. Where are you from, Mexico? I'm tired. All right. But well, fuck you all. Okay, good night. Uh, Guida killed Lozon. Oh, I got to fucking see this. All right, so I'll give you a little spoiler. Do you guys want a little Premier FC spoiler? We had Pat Casey on today. He was defending his belt. It was an amateur title. Fight of the night. Jesse Kosakowski. I was saying this kid's the real deal. He's got death in his eyes. If you guys want to know the result, I'll spoil it for you right now. I actually... My cousin Danny actually filmed it. So I could actually... I'll show you the fucking fight. It's awesome. Chris, how hard did Karen drink? And she embarrasses her, her kids. Um, Karen was... She was white girl wasted. She was. Uh, Chris, tell us about McGregor doing cocaine with John Jones and <laughs> Stephen Killer. That's pretty accurate. That's pretty fucking accurate. It was Guido's last fight on his contracts. Is ah, oh, imagine Guido, 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 Guido in Bellator. Oh, that'd be such a shit show. Imagine him pouncing around. Here's a question for you guys: Will the UFC two fights in a row? Do they re-sign Clay Guido? Guido versus Guido versus Diego Sanchez too. That's a great one right there. George is dead. Clay Guido. <laughs> Man, that's a tie. You got a tired Chris right now. Fucked up. I had um a lot of things happen to me today. Today I slapped. Oh, I walked in with Jason Showers. I walked in with him. 
<laughs> Jason, if you're watching, I fucking walked in. I was, I was Jason Showers Bieber. I was just Justin Bieber. I'm just going to say that. So I walked into the I actually walked to the cage, guys. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, Sage, Sage got the win. Okay, there you go. Ronnie Deal dropping the Sage. Did Jason die? He didn't do good. I'm going to tell you that much. But we love Jason. He's awesome. Not like sexually, but he's a good guy. Chris, did you see uh, Rory McDonald wanting to be in, Bell in the Bellator? Have you been Come on. <laughs> Stefan, are you fucking shitting me? Now, there was jokes about him and Chase, uh, Chael Sherman. Oh, fuck. Chael Sonnen. Sh I must have still alcohol in my system. I don't even know. I'm exhausted. Chael Sonnen. There was rumblings of them talk fighting. I'm for real. Look it up. All right. Michael, do me a favor. He's my stats guy. Rory McDonald wanted to fight in a heavyweight tournament. Did you hear about this? Heavyweight tournament? I heard about that, yeah. If you guys think we're going to suck each other's dicks, you're wrong. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Mr. D, he definitely did. What, Rory McDonald? Imagine him. What the? What is, I tell you what, I'm in on that circus. Regard, with or without Rory, I'm in. How about Bisping and Calvin? Uh, hold on. Kelvin? Wait, 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 what? Bisping versus wait, Kelvin Gastelum? November 25th? Is that is that true? You said Calvin, but I'm assuming Kelvin. Uh, Chris, uh, check out your inbox in the morning. I need you to set up a fight with me and G-Man. So, all right, here's the deal with that. I spoke to Karen. I could get... If you guys are fucking serious, Karen is 100% on board with setting up MMA whole fights, okay? But you need a gym to fucking back you. It's not back... This is not backyard fucking, you know, <laughs> dopey backyard fights or some shit. It's like a real fight. Uh, yeah, it's Stefan, I was at an event tonight. So, I just came on and just... This is, my, this is my Louis C.K. stream. Uh, you know, I had uh, many tats. That, uh, yeah, yeah, I had a couple. A couple. You want to see my tats? Do I do a tattoo tour? Uh, take it, Anderson Silva spot. 100% since Ronnie Deal. So, Michael Bisping. Wow. No way. Michael really? Bisping is fighting Kelvin Gastelum. No way. You got to think Kelvin's going to run him over, right? I would imagine. What do you guys think? I'm going to beat Mexicans ass next is Dereal. Dereal is trying to have a hot pocket eating contest fan. <laughs> Mexican's back. I'm going to fight my little cousin. He's 12 and I'm 6. This Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. All right. What else we got in here? I could, I could do this all night. I had to really eat in that government cheese. <laughs> Tell me fuck. Roy McDonald wants it. Alternative spot in Bellator Heavyweight. Come on. It's just Oh, my tweet. God. One tweet. <clears throat> Who tweeted that? Uh, Jim Edwards first. Roy responded. And Roy says, what? No one told me. Hold on. Damn. Well, if they need the answer, oh yeah, he's not gonna do it. You guys are fucking with me about Roy McDonald. You guys are crazy. Chris Lord men into his room and jerked off. <laughs> I did. I yeah, I did. I beat off on two men right now. I would never want to fight anyone in the chat. <laughs> Darth. Uh, this is Michael. Michael Lane's alone's a lover. He's not a fighter. He's like me. By the way, I realized today there's a lot more tougher guys than me, man. As I'm watching these motherfuckers, I was cage side. I mean, he was cage side too. When you hear the cracks. Fuck man, that's some that's some lethal shit. Even the buck thirty five guys, I think that was the smallest that we saw today. It was a buck thirty five, but man, oh that was man, one of the better fights. Booty videos. Uh, you play no games as Tiger Leg. I got Gaslam. Yeah, Gaslam all day. Kelvin Gaslam, Michael Bisping versus Kelvin Gaslam, targeted as a uh, new UFC. I love that fight. It's a little bit of a cop out though. Like with Michael Bisping, he's dodging Yoel Romero. But Yol said he wanted the winner of Whitaker versus GSP. That's what Yol said. But come on. Who doesn't want to see uh, Bisping get run over by Yol Romero? I think we all want to see that, right? <laughs> I mean, I like Bisping, but it would be fucking funny watching Yol Romero destroy him. I drank so much sleep medicine. Hold on. Early on, watched the fights through it. Now I can't sleep. So, Pro 2, welcome. You're, you're going to be up with us now. Stefan, you can catch these hands. This is the real. Talk about Aldo versus Holloway too, you fool. Okay, Stefan, relax. You can catch my dick slapping your booty. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, let's talk about it. And the reason why I'm going to talk about Aldo versus Holloway is because the young man next to me, who's my cousin Michael right over here, he's sleeping with a hood on because he's afraid I'm going to kiss his neck. <laughs> <laughs> he's afraid I'm going to walk. I'm going to reach over and just fucking kiss his neck. He's my cousin, by the way, so stop being a dick. Um, he's going to the event, UFC 218. 218, he's going to the event. He's sitting. Where are you sitting, Mike? Row 11, I think. Row 11. Row 11. Center ice. From the cage. Center ice. This is a new arena, correct? 
Yeah, new arena. I don't, we're not on the floor, I don't think. So I think we're up in the stadium seat, seats, mm -hmm. but still. Stadium seat. Oh, that's awesome. So he's going to be watching this. Now, Aldo is going to be fighting. It looks like it's confirmed. He's going to be fighting Holloway. And I I like the fight a lot. I, I, I mean, listen, Cubs are right. I just don't want to see it. But you got to ask Mike because Mike's going to be there. What does he want to see? So you got Aldo versus Holloway. Uh, rematch. Title fight. What do you think? What are your feelings on that? Be completely honest. Uh, I think we already saw it. I think Holloway is going to get it. So an easy easy W from Holloway, the Hawaiian. So Holloway for the win. Are you pumped up at all for that fight? I mean, now, does it with Frankie Edgar out, does it take a little wind out of the sails? Or maybe you got a little bit of a better of a fight. What do you think? I'm more stoked about the fights leading up to it, honestly. Yeah. That'll be like icing on the cake. If it's a great fight, cool. Mm -hmm. If not, the rest of the fights I'm looking forward to. Like Nganu versus, uh, what's the fuck's his name? Overeem. Uh, Overeem, yeah. That's going to be a fucking Alvarez crazy fight. Alvarez Gagey. Alvarez Gagey, which is an easy fight of the night right there. Cejudo Pettis. Tisha Torres versus Michelle oh. Watterson. Hold on a second. Darth Bane says, says, is this the cunt who raps Chris? <laughs> no, <I'm not. laughs> oh, no. This is the cunt who raps. Only on the West Coast. On the West Coast. Yeah. Darth, you feeling, you feeling frisky? Maybe we might have to set this up. All right, darts in the house. It's going on. Max will spank him, I have to agree. Dude looks like uh, Christian Bale. There he goes. Ba it's it. fucking Batman. Who said that? Dude looks like Christian Bale. Pro 2. Yeah, I'm in bed with Christian Bale right now. It's fucking awesome. Who would, who Christian would, Bale from The Machinist, though. You probably mean. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who would want to sleep with Batman, for God's sakes? You know? Like, look at this. <laughs> We're going to... By the way, we got... <laughs> look at this shit. So we get fucking... I don't want to sleep on the floor. I'm not going to sleep on the fucking floor. So we got more pillows. So this is what we're gonna do, guys. It's like a fucking slumber party. We're gonna fucking put a pill barrier. This is the this is a straight barrier right over here. You cannot pass the pillow barrier. <laughs> if you pass the pillow barrier, you, you're immediately you're instantly gay. So that's how that works. What's up, Mike? All right, exactly what I meant. From the machine is hot. Pro tool. Yeah. So there you go. That's that's a little trick, guys. Um, if you're in a bed with another man, so say if you only have a couple, like if there's three guys in two beds. Instead of making it gay, nothing wrong with being gay. You can, that's fine. You have to have the gay barrier up. You get a couple of pillows, and you're good to go. <laughs> All right. So we talked about a lot. What else? What else is there to talk about? I lost forty Adderall and Xanax at the uh, fight site. So Ronnie, oh, so what? You forty Adderall and Xanax? That's like, God, how much money did you just lose? It's insane. Are you selling that shit? I had a Xanax tonight myself. I, <laughs> I downed a Xanax tonight. I need it. What up, Daryl? You dumb, this is Mexican. So it's good to see Mexican back here. Um, it's good to have everyone back. It's good. Mexican, find Jesus. Uh, pillow fight. <laughs> There's a bottle of scotch over there. He's like, yo, just down the bottle of scotch. Because how bad is my uh, baby Christine doing player? <laughs> what? Mexican's... <laughs> she's home right now. Well, I don't know. I think she's home. Better pack your uh, corks and duct tape. Turd tappers. <laughs> turd tappers. <laughs> Who is turd tappers? Uh, you can only win a fight, uh, in the projects, Ninja. Out here in Beverly Hills is the real shit, Ninja. You didn't even miss me, you fook, says Stefan Killam. All right, fill a fight. So, so you, do you guys think with this card here, now, I did get the results. We found out that Dustin Poirier got the win. We found out that Brown won, but did Brown retire? Did, did you guys tell me that Brown retired? I, I didn't see it in there. I want to know if he retired. He fucking slept. Uh, Diego Sanchez. I got a headache. I don't even know why I'm live right now. Just like this for the hell of it. Flintstones has a gay old time regularly, says Ro Ronnie Deal. Brown doesn't know yet. So he didn't... Wow, so Brown didn't retire. Motherfucker said he was. Brown didn't retire. I mean, he beat up Diego Sanchez for God's sakes. And nothing against Diego Sanchez. I know he's friends, friends of the show. But, come on. He turned Diego retarded. <laughs> he says, fucking Diego's got brain damage. Pillow fights his tiger lag. Uh, from Beverly Hills, I missed this shit. Uh, what did you miss, Mexican? Or do you miss this shit? A man in bed. That elbow. So, the, yeah, I gotta see this. So, what do you guys rank this card? It's a fight night. Six, uh, fight main card. What do you guys recommend, uh, what do you guys rank this thing out of ten? Give me a ranking. I'm gonna watch it tomorrow, and I'm gonna give you an accurate review of this. The fuckery. Brown, uh, scheduled to fight Mike Perry since Ponzi. Whoa, what, 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 what? Stefan, are you making more shit up, or what is this? You're supposed to fight Mike Brown, Mike Perry, 
And his pawn. Come on, pawns and is out. I'm gonna do one more. Brown versus my. Is pawns and out? That's a tough one to spell, by the way. You might have to talk that one in. Pons and is like a just a name you should off yourself with. By the way, if you're just jumping in right now, this is the uh, Louis C.K. Um, UFC stream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you give it a seven. Uh, the A site says seven. Stephen Killen gives it a seven. Seven point five says Ronnie Deal. So uh, I give it a five. Wow. I fought way five to one odds that you win the pillow fight, Chris. <laughs> well, he's young. He's got the youth on me. I'm laughing my ass off, uh, rolling on the floor. Chris, you dumb. This is Stephen Killen. Thank you. I appreciate that. Seven. Uh, good catch up uh, with you guy, Chris. Uh, I have you a plug at Bulkhead Jiu Jitsu. There you go, Evitz. You plug my ass up. Not, you know what I mean. Lies, lies. I got my night card when I was nine years old. There you go. That's a Mexican. <laughs> Shut up, Ninja. There's a lot of, there's a lot of N words in here. It's very mean. You shouldn't be saying that to each other. Is the shower see through? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. You guys want to come in the shower with me? <laughs> Next stream will be the shower stream. Uh, Chris, uh, you know you made. Oh fuck! I lost it. You know you made it when Darth stopped sucking dick to watch a stream. <laughs> 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 the fuck, they're real. <laughs> That's pretty good. Darth, come back. That's pretty funny. Chris, I'm gonna roast your Corey Feldman because son, <laughs> shave those ice ice baby lines in my eyebrows. It's Darth Vane. Well, I love you too, man. Ann's the best. 7% in the house. Let me look your cousin's ass. <laughs> so, <laughs> fuck it. By the way, I think I'm going to die. I had so many fighters like spit on me and cough on me. I don't know how Joe Rogan does it. I slapped Jason Shaw's back and it was like I fucking put my hand in the puddles like whap and then, like the fucking water just flew off of his back. I'm like, how do these motherfuckers do it? By the way, if you jump in, I walked in with Jason Shaw is the herdsman. I walked into the fucking cage. Stay tuned for that. What's up, brother? Michael Flaherty, what's up, my man? Oh, I'm in mass right now. Michael, if it wasn't so late, I'd say, let's go get a brew. John Dotson lost. Oh, he lost a decision. Shocker, Ronnie Deal. John Dotson went to a decision. When was the last time he finished someone? It's been a little bit. Shout out to Diaper John, Pigeon, and V-Neck. Don't forget that I nicknamed all you. Well, you they're gone. Well, V-Neck is the only one that's more consistent. Diaper came on during his birthday. Mexican, they're all fucking... They've left me. I can't understand why when you look at this autistic chat room. What's up, Aussie dude? What's up, kid? Uh, it's real. If I had it uh, to babysit you, I would <laughs> wait your lips and stick you to the wall. <laughs> Start fan. All right. Let's just say that before. I'll be original. Yeah, that's true. That is a rerun. Last time Guido TKO'd someone, a Matt Sa Sarah was champ. That's a good fact there by Stefan Killam. How about Clay Guido? Two in a row. Yo, Joe Lo Lozon still got some. I gotta see this. He fucking finished Joe Lozon? I'm having a, a tough time wrapping my head around this. Clay Guida? He knocked out Joe Lozon? Is this for real? Uh, Chris, you're killing the MMA show game here. Luke Thomas was terrible earlier. <laughs> yeah, this is so much better, right? Imagine if Luke Thomas went in bed. He's like, uh, hey guys, I'm in bed. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to talk about the fights. What other MMA show talks to you has a completely homoerotic stream? <laughs> it talks about MMA. This fucking show. Matthew Lopez. Let's see MMA Barber do this. See that. Actually, you probably would like to see Jesse do this. I'm sure you guys would do that. Why is there a phone number in the chat? Uh, it's real. Okay. Yeah, Lozon with uh, went, uh, La La Land. Holy shit. I got to watch these fights. And when you're done babysitting, slide him uh, to the corner. This is Michael Flaherty. What did you say before that? Oh, I'm fucking, I'm so shot. I drank a little bit. Hung out with Karen afterwards, if you saw that stream. I'm crying, you're making me cry. The swollen nostrils looking cunt. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, you guys are fucking on fire. This is good stuff. I keep on making fun of each other, it's funny. Oh, you get to make fun of us too. <clears throat> we got 17 watching. Dropping, uh, dropping some likes over here, just for the fucking hell of it. We're doing a live stream. Uh, Premier FC 24, I'm gonna get you some footage. We got a ton of footage. For that shit. Um, I think you'll like it. I'm telling you, man. Local MMA is a shit. You never know who's going to come out. I said it before. Mike Perry came out of Premier FC. Uh, they got a good organization over here. I'm tight. I run this place. I walk in there. Everyone fucking kisses my feet. Like, right, right Mike? Everyone, I, like, it was like, I was like a fucking royalty. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they came in. <laughs> my cousin was fucking, both of them. They're both by the cage. They're fucking. Yeah. They were just chilling by the cage. You, all right, how many of you motherfuckers ever sat by the cage and watched some of these fights? I mean, some of you have fought. But how many guys as a fan just fucking sat there? It is impressive, man. I got nothing respect. Nothing but respect for 
MMA fighters, man. That's why that's why I love doing this shit. The uh, martial arts, mixed martial arts, is something else, man. It really is. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. As fucked up and devastating as it can be, I sat with the doctor and the uh, the ring announcer. Owen was a good dude. A lot of dudes. Karen's the only woman. Karen's the only girl that broke up this whole fucking gay orgy that we had. Chris about to get his baby dick super sucked. <laughs> yeah. Did you fuck? Uh, who? My cousin? Uh, this chat is all fucked up. Yeah, I'm so damn black. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Darrell uses uh, his welfare money to buy steroids. <laughs> oh my god. It was awesome in Atlanta. So, alright, so it looks like you guys like the card. It looks like you guys like the card. I'll be watching it tomorrow. Poirier Pettis, I'm down. I was on F. I was on Fox Sports, right? So, how the fuck do I watch it? Now I'm thinking about it. How the fuck do I watch that? Could rewatch it. You got Fight Pass, right? I do have Fight Pass, but I don't know if they show it. They don't do. Do they? They don't do cable shows. I don't know if they do FS1. I love 217 Tiger Leg. That was the best shit ever, man. I'm oh, gonna no. have to go out and say, UFC 217 is the best card ever. There you go. I'm gonna have to say it right there. I gotta change my name to the dark side. This is the A side. You should take put me in the uh, triangle, and I liked it. It does sound like a pretty good uh, deal. Oh man, Kaepernick sucks. Oh shit, the Giants play the Niners. But the Niners have not won a game, and the Giants have won only one game. So two of the shittiest teams, and I think, if I'm not mistaken, that the Niners are favored. <laughs> I'm done. I've tapped out on the Giants season. Talk to you soon, Chris. We have uh, a ring down here. Uh, what do you mean, Evans? Where, where's your ring? Oh, by your gym? Or... All right, Evans. I'll come visit. Where were you at? I'll come over there. I'll bring wristbands. Uh, Palo Costa replaced Silva instead of Bisping. I, you know, that would've been cool. But, um, I like my Michael Bisping versus Kelvin Gastelum. I kind of dig it. He's gonna catch a beating. 49ers a favorite. Yeah, Kaepernick sucks. If I'm not mistaken, the 49ers a favorite in, in that, uh, I keep on wanting to say fight. <laughs> laugh a lot wristbands. Tiger Leg, you wanna laugh? The guy came to give us extra pillows, and I gave him a dollar and a wristband. <laughs> if you're here, if you're here, Mr. Dollar and Wristband... Should reveal yourself. We should taint. Ain't smelling it too good. Says the A side. Fuck Silva, juice head. All right, so let's talk about Anderson Silva. Let's talk about the elephant in Brazil. Okay. Let's talk about Anderson, the Spider Silver, who I thought was the greatest of all time, and now look what happened. The fucking guy pops again. I don't know what he popped for though, Anderson Silva. I mean, I don't know what. I mean, it's fucking steroids, right? I guess, I mean, I, I thought the guy was the greatest of all time, and John Jones, and you got these two mooks, they're freaking, they don't stop at the steroids, dick pills, <laughs> maybe, I love, uh, okay, <laughs> Darrell doesn't understand about a nuance or context of time and place, is Darth Bane, a lot of gays in Atlanta, <laughs> in the ATL, <laughs> what does that even mean, there's a lot of gays in Atlanta, fuck my phone making a lot of uh, typos, that's alright, it's your phone's full, dick pills, so Anderson Silva, so according to the chat, Anderson Silva got flagged for dick pills. <laughs> Everyone's on Roy's. That's right. Oh no. Evitz, what's wrong? I don't know what's going on anymore. All I know is I'm talking to you guys from the bed. And I like it. I should put this, I have a, I have a playlist, I think, live. What was it? I forgot what it's called. MMA and Chill, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know what you do in that mirror, Darth? <laughs> All right, so I think we covered everything. We spoke about the event that I got the privilege, and uh, I want to thank the people at Premier FC for letting a goddamn celebrity in their cage and doing interviews. And I, yeah, cage interviews was nice. One interview didn't really happen, and then um, it was a couple of weird incidents. So I'll show you. I'll do a little recap for you guys so you can see the dysfunction of my uh, cage interviews. And um, there is Poirier versus uh, Pettis. And Pori grabs her win. Good shit. I'm going to have to fucking run that back. <laughs> Do you really, when you get... <laughs> when you got the part as one of the flying monkeys in The Wizard of Oz, did you feel like you made it in showbiz? <laughs> All right. I think on that note, Joe Rogan trying to say, Jones Coke was tainted, left my ass off. Ah, oh, I got a good story today, and I can't tell it. Fuck. I got a John Jones story. I actually got a John Jones behind-the-scenes story. I have a Coke story. About John Jones. I know a guy. Okay. I can't say who it is. But I have a good story about John Jones. Oh, I wish I could tell the story. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell Mike the story. Yeah, okay. 
I told him like the story about it, but yeah, I got a actually I got a story that you would it would blow your mind about John Jones. I can't fucking say anything about it. it. Sucks. I will tell you guys. I promise this next meetup, I will totally tell you guys. If if whoever's comes to the meetup, I'll tell you tell you. But that's the kind of cool thing, man. Yo, I fucking get info out of people. I don't know how people just want to tell me shit. <laughs> like I, I can't tell you the other stuff that I was doing. But you come to these fucking things, you can't uh, leave us hanging. Pro tool. It's good. And I'm not even lying. It's good. It's juicy. It's juicy shit. About John Jones' partying days and stuff like that. We know about his partying days, but there's there's things missing from the story with John Jones. And I can't fucking tell you. See you in Vegas. All right, Evitz. When I'm in Vegas, I'll tell you a story. Um, Chris, tell it. Tell a story. <laughs> tell us my motherfucker. All right. I will tell you, um, not on... I can't... Listen, there's little secrets that I can't fucking tell. Tell us, mofo. <laughs> Stephen. How big is his cock? Yes. He has a micro penis. That's 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 actually the story. Uh, John Stone Jones, Mudapuka. Yeah, I can't fucking say it. But um, I promise you this: you hang with me live, I guarantee you we'll get behind the scenes shit about these knuckleheads. There's a lot of shit that you have no idea about, and like it's kind of cool hearing the stories from these gyms and about these mainstream fighters and going to these local events. You meet these young kids that are just fucking hungry, and you don't know who's gonna be the next guy. Or girl. So you got to go to these events. I'm telling you. And if we do meetups, I promise you guys, when we do meetups down the road, I promise you that I will tell you some of these behind the scenes stories. I'll even tell you what our Luke Thomas for behind the scenes shit too. For gay sex. Jesse hates you to real. <laughs> Need to have a meetup in uh, Las Vegas. Mike H., we used to go to Las Vegas all the time. We, uh, we do have to have a meetup over there. I think Vegas in December, right? That's That's a Vegas fight? Yeah. It's going to be cold as fuck, though. But there is. Is Jones gay? Jones, yes. Jones is gay. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert. John Jones is black. <laughs> That's a secret. If Chris come out uh, to the West Coast, like Vegas, uh, for a meetup, I want to hear uh, the stories. I promise. Like I said before, I, I totally promise you guys I'll tell you some of these stories. It's cool stuff. <clears throat> it's cool stuff. You meet some real cool people, man, and behind the scenes. By the way, shout out to Nick Newell, man. He's a good dude. He's a good dude. Nick Newell, the one on Bandit, going back to the MMA world. He lost to Justin Gaethje, uh, Gaethje. But other than that, he's a fucking assassin and he's coming back. So, respect to Nick Newell. International Fight Week, come through. It's not a bad idea. I think, what is that? It's in May? I think International Fight Week's in May. That could be a possibility. That might be enough time. It all depends on this. And I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. The more the show goes, the more, I, you know, whether it's donations or whether I get anything going with this show, when it comes to revenue, I will fucking travel. Trust me, I will. I take everything and dump it back into the show. So, work on that. Work on those donations. <laughs> I'll do that. But, um, yeah, um, we did three weeks weeks in a row, this, uh, this little trip, right? We did CES. We had a little fun with that. UFC 217, we covered that shit. And then we knock it off with uh, Premiere C24. I'm sorry I couldn't give you some more live streams for that. There was just no Wi-Fi in there, so I couldn't do that. Chris, I see you uh, sucking Fluke Thomas on social media. I didn't suck him on. I didn't suck him on full social media. We had an interesting conversation, me and Luke. It's in July. Oh, let's make it happen. It's in July. It's actually even better. Gives us even more time. It is in July? July? What do you guys think? Meet up in July, Las Vegas. Call it Divorce Week, right? <laughs> Instead of fucking International Fight Week, it'll be called International Divorce Week. That's what we'll do. We'll all get divorced. We'll fucking that'd be awesome. That'd be great. Uh, Chris, uh, uh, look, our homos now or what? I mean, homies. <laughs> what are you talking about? Every joke is about uh, me because okay, tomorrow's supposed to be uh, seventy-two in Las Vegas. Is my gauge? All right. I know you're jerking off his little cinnamon flavored dick. What does that even mean? <laughs> Are you trying to tell me Luke Thomas is a cinnamon, cinnamon flavored dick? I'll ask him that. I have no problem asking if Luke Thomas is a cinnamon flavored dick. What does that mean? Like, I don't. I'm not. I'm kind of not sure what the fuck that means. It's funny. I want to get married just so I can get divorced. It's Darth Bane. <laughs> just that would be so cool if you meet up with, to meet up with you uh, when you come here to the West Coast, and I'm gonna make sweet love to you in front of your husband. And you're gonna love every minute. <laughs> and don't tell Mike though. If Mike's here, I promise he'll be quick. Gay jokes at 4 a.m. It's all, all I have. It's a pro tool. Anybody remember the time Chris sucked to Luke Thomas when they met? Luke is a buff faggot. 
Uh, but yeah, well, people are saying the same. Oh, Mexican, did you did you check out my my recent streams with the Luke Thomas thing? There's there's more there's more dick sucking if you want to see that. I love black so much that my family bought a bunch of them to so stuff and kill them. All right, it's great. What the fuck? Really? Like, are we really gonna do this? <laughs> what the fuck? Is it four a.m.? I think it is fucking four. What is, what time? Please don't tell me it's oh, it's fucking four o'clock. Michael, why are we up? It's one Pacific. That's all I can say. Oh my god, guys! I gotta go to sleep. Anything? Any other racist jokes you want to throw in there? <laughs> Chris always does good talking to uh, girls until he gets drunk and brings up rape. <laughs> I would ask. Uh, listen, if I was a single man, I would, uh, I would do just fine. But I'm not. I'm spoken for. Chris, uh, you should shave your armpits. I think they're buzzed. Look at that. They're fucking shaved. They're buzzed. I was hoping that me and Michael go. He could slip on my. Uh, my buzzed armpits. I did buzz them. You know why I buzzed them? I'll tell you a story. I'm supposed to get a colonoscopy. So I'm going to get my hair off my body. So I'm slowly getting the hair off. So the doctor could slip that fucking scope into my asshole. It's going to be so awesome. I'm going to go live for it too. You're going to love it. Yeah, 4 a.m. Chris H. It's ridiculous. I met a man. Duh. Uh, what? New Year's tonight. Hell yeah. Chris, uh, what does Luke Thomas <laughs> like on his hot dogs? <laughs> um, yellow mustard. Gay ass shit. It's 109 over there. And what is this? Fist Me Daddy Chris. Wonderful. What? There's an actual account that says Fist Me Daddy Chris. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's a great account. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Fist Me Daddy Chris. Wonderful. Wonderful. I like that name. It's a good one. Stream that tube uh, going in your ass. <laughs> All right, Kevin. Okay, I get well. Um, that would be pretty funny, though, right? If I could get the doctor to sign off on it. Imagine. That'd be fucking gross. That got Mike's attention. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Mike's like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> uh, Chris, you shave your ass too. I'm going to tell you guys a story. <laughs> you guys want to talk about me shaving my ass? I'll fucking go there. You got to shave. Well, I gotta, I'm like I'm fucking chimpanzee. I don't think you guys get it. Like, see this? That's, that's some hair over there, but this is nothing. If I let this shit go, I'm like a fucking... I'm like Cornelius, for God's sakes. It's ridiculous. Like, I could, I could take over a fucking planet. For God's sakes. I'm a hairy motherfucker. So what I've done in my younger years, and maybe a couple or more, let's see the fire crotch. <laughs> <laughs> you have your shitty <laughs> pants on. <laughs> no, I don't. Chris, show us your tits. <laughs> you slutty ginger. <laughs> this is so gay. <laughs> Guys, is it is this wrong? Is this wrong that I'm laughing at this? <laughs> Here's the, the go gets the Target store. A logo on his ass. So, you know, I'm going to tell you guys a little trick, all right? You guys might think this is fucking weird. Now, this is going to get gross, by the way. So any 7% that's in here, you might get grossed out. And H, it looks like you're the only 7% in here. If there's any other 7%, reveal yourself. But I can tell you something. It's kind of gross, all right? I don't shave my ass. Can't tell if the hair is... A, wait, what? Can't tell if it's hair or a farce. <laughs> this cabinet sucks. Um, all right, so it's real. Don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear my ass. All right, I'm not going to tell it then. I don't want to tell it. There you go. Drill says no. Let me see more hairy nipples. <laughs> Fuck Luke Thomas. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I got to buzz a little bit. I got a mangaroo, man. Uh, and we. There we go. She's on the boys. All right, Fuck Luke Thomas. Man, I want to hear the about his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't entertain this gay shit. No, now, okay. It is not gay. All right, let me tell you something right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to speak some truth here. If you're a hairy man, okay, here's the thing. You can't go full, like, smooth, like, baby's ass. You can't fucking do that. Like, you gotta fucking leave something to the imagination. And you gotta leave some hair on you. You know, you can't fucking, it's, you can't fucking do that to your legs, right? Marry your ass. Okay, so Darth Vader is going where I'm going, actually. Here's the deal. Your asshole, did you ever wonder why you, like, men, or well, not women, why men have ass hair? Did you ever wonder about this? We actually did some research with V-neck. Uh, Chris, do you feel the poop sliding in <laughs> over your ass and your hair? Uh, what? Your hair when you ride bikes, yes. Um, <laughs> Daryl's like, no. Wait, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you anyway, Daryl. <laughs> there is a reason why men have ass hair. Okay, let's see if you guys can guess it. And if you if you get it right, you win a prize. And it's, um, I don't know, me shutting off the stream. To save your uh, dingleberries, you dumb cunt. <laughs> uh, Harry asked because it's cold at night. <laughs> Is there a bean? 
<laughs> because our ancestor did anal in the cold weather and his hair grew over time. <laughs> You're so close. You're all very close. You have a clue? You, you I have a guess? Yeah. Oh, he has a guess. Yeah, Michael has a guess. You want Michael to tell you? Uh, the scare rapist. My ass is so hairy. It's like shitting into a hair hammock. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we need more of these fucking 4 a.m. streams. It's great. Can't wait to get like two hours of sleep. All right. Do you want me to or do you want Mike to tell you? Take a vote in the chat. Chris or Mike? It's actually a fascinating thing. It's very fascinating. I condition my hands there. Uh, it's a scare of intruders. <laughs> Let Mike talk. All right. Chris, show us your flaming looking anus. This chat is suspect. <laughs> Keep liking this. Just for the fuck of it. Just to piss off everyone. Just keep liking it. Alright, so it looks... I have one bro vote for Mike. And it looks like that's the only vote we're going to have. So Mike's going to tell you. Your cousin looks like a sober version of the horror. You ever see the Matt the horror? He's, um... He's a fighter. A uh, friend of the MMA holes. Fights out of Jackson Wink. I don't know what the hell's going on him. He's a funny dude. But anyway. Alright, um... I guess Mike's going to tell you now. I guess that's it. We got one vote on Mike. So it looks like that's it. That's all we're getting. It's all quiet in the chat. They're all nervous right now. They kind of waiting. See, look, there's not even to common up. Oh, there is. <laughs> Mike looks uh, like a bootleg M&M. Yeah. <laughs> bootleg cool. M&M. He's Walmart M&M. &M. <laughs> <laughs> I vote no. So Darrell says no. He doesn't want to know. <laughs> all right. So Darrell says no. You can't know. No, Tiger Lake says no, too. All right. So you want to know why men have ass hair? Scare of GZ GSP aliens. <clears throat> Stephen Kellen wants to know. But there's two no's and one yes. So the no's outweigh the yes. <clears throat> I feel like I got bad allergies. I'm all fucked up. Let's see if we fucked some uh, trailer park princess in Flint, Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever fucked... Well, he's in Seattle now, but in Flint, Michigan, have you ever fucked trailer park trash? No. No. I am from Michigan. Jolo, yes. He is from Michigan. Fuck yes. The cabinet excites... I think yes is starting to win now. Uh, gives, uh, my barber something to shave. <laughs> Stephen Gay, Chris, take the hint. <laughs> Eddie Bravo says, ass hairs is implemented by, well, the government. <laughs> we have babies. <laughs> we are babies. All right, we're going to tell you anyway. I don't give a fuck. We have enough yeses. All right, Mike, ready? Well, I think it's because, like, 100,000 years ago, if you were a good hunter and you had, like, a good diet, mm -hmm. you shit it out, it'd get caught in your ass hair. <laughs> And the ladies would be like, oh, this guy, I can smell that he's a good hunter. There you go. I should reproduce with this guy. So there your you ass go. hairs carry that. That's my guess. And and that is very, that's very true. It's the scents, the oils in your anus. <laughs> Get caught, caught in your ass hair. And it attracts the opposite sex. In some cases, the same sex in this chat. But, <laughs> but the opposite sex. It does. Yeah, isn't that disgusting? So there is a reason why there's ass hair. So, so my wife is happy. I fucking shave it off because I, I these women just sniff in my ass constantly. They just can't stay away from my <laughs> asshole. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Now, here's a little trick. So, can we talk about MMA? <laughs> That's all fucked up. You know you motherfuckers. Oh, my God. You know you motherfuckers going to be using that fact. You know you're going to be telling people. You're going to be sitting at Thanksgiving dinner. you be like, hey, I got a fun fact for you guys. <laughs> You'll be like, yo, pass me some turkey. By the way, you know why you have ass hair? <laughs> <laughs> you know you're going to do it. Can we talk about how Darrell is a huge faggot? All right. Butt talk. Ew. So that's it. All right. I'm not going to talk about how I removed the ass hair. I think that's enough. I think that's enough of the ass talk. Anyway, we learned a lot tonight, right? <laughs> we really did. I maybe should delete this video. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should never. I should burn. Let me know if you think I should delete this video, guys. I think it's pretty... Maybe we should make this our little secret. I just delete this fucking thing. Of the AIDS. Uh, John Jones has no ass hair. Since Pro 2445. Um, no? What's that? Nose, Chris? Keep it. This is Mike Lanzalone. Jagging off. Alright. <laughs> the real says delete it. Everyone say no, but the real, the real's like, yeah, get this shit out of here. <laughs> the real was giving birth after his uh, mom drinks pills to shit. Okay, drink pills to shit. Okay. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Tell us JJ's secret and then delete it. JJ's secret. Oh, John Jones. He's mm. black. He's a black man. 
No, it's a good, it's a good one. I'm gonna tell Mike because he's gonna. He's oh, he took his hood off. Oh, his hood's still on. He still can't kiss his neck because his hood's there. <laughs> All right. Um, delete. Uh, if they will uh, think this is gay porn. <laughs> Here's how I look at it, guys. When it comes to the whole gay shit, right? Um, people, they get so fucking, like, I was going to say butthurt, but that would be gay. <laughs> it's kind of gay. But people get, like, all weirded out with gay shit. Now, listen, knock yourself out. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. It's fine. Fuck whatever kind of ass you want to fuck. It's fine. Do, it, do whatever you want to do. But, um, I... What was the point I was making? <laughs> I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. I don't. I honestly don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Anyway, oh, if you're fucking like weirded about out about gay people and making gay jokes, then maybe you're a little gay. I don't know. I mean, who gives a fuck? Jokes, a joke, man. Race, gay jokes, they're all funny. Just us having fun over here. If the dick looks good, I would suck it. No homo. This is Stephen Killam. Has an exit sign. Only weird. <laughs> All right, let's stop this. I like gay jokes as her being. Okay, there you go. All right, we're going to stop this now. You want to have a dance party? Speaking of gay, you want to have a dance party now? Watch this. Hey! <laughs> Look out. Hey. Look at this. Dance party in the bed. Look out, kids. <laughs> I turned this shit off. All right. I never use these uh, special effects in here. Anyway, let's stop the gay shit. Um, we got bubbles. We also got a dream. Let's see what else we got in this fucking thing. A uh, beam. Laughing so loud. I know, we just wake up the neighbors. I don't know what's the point of this. Should I do the rest of the stream like this? <laughs> Alright. Alright, we've completely lost our mind. I'm gonna finish the stream like this. My nostrils look so weird like that. Why do my nostrils look so weird? <laughs> oh my god. I look hideous as a cartoon. It's kind of weird. Is this freaking you guys? Love that song. <laughs> what song? Take on me. So you get a gay. Anyway. It's kind of cool, right? <clears throat> I should do a stream just like this. Let's look at Mike. You can see yourself. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We've officially turned it into a cartoon. Don't be an a-hole. Be. And <clears throat> oh my god, I can't fucking talk. <laughs> I'm dying. Crying to the air. <laughs> uh, don't be an a-hole. Everyone in the chat say it. Don't be an a-hole. Be an... Where is it? Good night. Where is it? Good night, yos. No, no, no. Where is it? Don't be an a-hole. Be an... Be an MMA hole. There you go. MMA holes. There you go. Peace out, guys. Be racist. <laughs> <laughs>